Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Welcome family, welcome to your channel. Welcome to Chatufa Television Production. Thank you for tuning in. We want to welcome those that are with us also for the very first time. Always please subscribe, like and share. It's a way of appreciating the work we are doing. Just click that button so we are also encouraged in doing this work. It takes a lot of effort and time. And it also takes a lot of dedication to do this. When we see you supporting us and standing with us, we are really encouraged. When we hear your comments, we are really encouraged to continue to do this work. We thank you so much and be blessed. We continue to lobby for those that want to support the channel in any way that the Lord moves you in your heart to contribute to the spreading of this gospel. The gospel of the promises of God for our nation. The gospel of hope for the nation. We are a channel that is sent to spread the gospel of the love of God for his people, for his oppressed people of Zimbabwe. You will find that our character is a bit different from other channels. Please do not take offense and end up attacking us. We are what we are. We are who we are according to how the heavens programmed this station. Thank you so much for those who are joining us for the very first time. Today, we are looking at a false Nelson Chamisa death prophecy that has been refuted by Shepard Bushiri. Before I enter into this story, I first of all want to respond to one follower, Mkoma um, Kuda. He said to me, Chatufa, I am a follower of this channel and I love this channel so much. But I want to ask you one question. Do you really think that ZANU-PF will come out of power? Do you really think ZANU-PF will be in a position to relinquish power and that change can happen just like that? In response to Mkoma Kuda, I'm responding again to him for the second time. And I said, this channel is a spiritual channel, is a channel of faith and hope. We are coming here to dish out the mind of God, things that we pick as we are praying. Remember, this channel is also begged up by so many intercessors, from the Zimbabwean Intercessors Forum to other many different forums of intercessors throughout the world. So we converse, we discuss, and we come out with the mind of God for the nation. And some of the things that we speak here on this channel are actually the mind of God that is within the occurrences that are happening within the nation. So I said to him, it's not upon us as citizens this time around to deliver the Zimbabwe that we want. It is actually the battle of the heavens. All that we are doing is we are believing God for anything. He said to me, do you really think Sadiq will succeed? And I said to him, if it is the will of the Lord. Because we are praying and believing God that he will bring many, many different ways in which he is going to deliver the nation we are looking forward to. So in every way possible that the Lord could use, all we are doing is standing in faith and believing in the promises of God and continuously praying that the angels of the deliverance of Zimbabwe can continue to be released and we shall see things happening one way or the other. Which way it is going to be like, we are all in support of it, as long as it is God's way and God's mind. I hope this has helped Nkoma Kuda and others. As ZANU-PF's days continue to be numbered, their propaganda campaign is becoming even more irresponsible, desperate and clumsy in their reporting. A Baba Jukwa handle, known to be overseen by Jonathan Moyo in cohorts with his Senge Sochabang, has maliciously reported a false Shepherd Bushire prophecy on the death of CCC leader Nelson Chamisa with a duration of three months for it to happen. 
Shepard Bushiri, however, has refuted those claims, calling them fabricated and misleading. Such desperation and foolishness is a camp it abides in, none other than the ZANU-PF camp. This is all ZANU-PF clutching on straws as the political temperature continues rising day in and day out. The fire in the cockpit has become so unbearable that the ZANU-PF goons do not know where to touch and their pilot Emerson Mnangagwa is fumbling like a village vagabond. All systems are out of control and no one knows what action to take, words to speak or correct postures to take. It's Ulabalu, the order of a baboon party. ZANU-PF have been under intense heat to the point of wishing Nelson Chamisa dead. Someone lied to them that Chamisa is the alpha and omega of their problems. ZANU-PF forgets quickly. Can someone remind them that not so long ago, they thought Morgan Changirai was their problem? But did things get any better for them when they connived, poisoned the man and he departed to earth? Instead, things became worse and the fire consuming them has since magnified in intensity. Why do these people never learn from history really? They continue hell-bent on useless propaganda and go to the lengths of manufacturing false prophecies orchestrated by the so-called papas like one given by their own gold, drugs and ivory smuggler, the little Panganai Jawangwe, in the previous year. It is a big lie to think that eliminating Nelson Chamisa is the elimination of ZANU-PF's problems. The major problem with ZANU-PF is the hero worshipping and boot licking. Being led by tired and rusty minds has caused their brains to see wisdom in villains. Leaders of ZANU-PF who believe in digging holes and making bread in them, calling it black economic empowerment, are pathetic. A leadership that makes noise about officially opening a rubbish bin and drilling a borehole in the city center are intellectually stinking. Look how such initiatives are made breaking news and Varakashi frantically twerking for a vision 2030 accomplished. Shame. A real, real shame. ZANU-PF must know that the idea of change has nothing to do with Nelson Chamisa. Last time I said, ZANU-PF would be out of power even without a single opposition party in Zimbabwe. There are factors upon which the placement or displacement of ZANU-PF depends upon. Time, season, lifespan, generational consensus, and the will of the Most High are the key factors that ZANU-PF must understand in as far as their stay in power is concerned. Upon these factors, Nelson Chamisa is simply a tool that the heaven is using to facilitate its objectives, whereby anyone too can be used to replace him if God so desires. In essence, ZANU-PF will have to kill everyone to be totally safe, a case beyond the impossible. The life of a man is in the hands of his creator. No one wielding any human power can dictate the fate of a man. Though they can be commander in thief of anything, they still cannot steal human life if Jesus says no. ZANU-PF can continue dreaming on. The idea of change shall knock continuously hard on their ugly and shattered door until the consensus of the present generation is achieved and a balance is achieved upon the scale of life and dignity for all. Until the demands of the Zimbabwean people are met, ZANU-PF shall continue running from their own shadows building castles in the air and strengthening themselves in their death till the day that the heavenly angel of justice shall deliver the final blow upon their heads. We shall never be silenced. We shall march on and on. We shall continue to shout death to justice, oppression, corruption, murder, toxicity and self-hate. We are the heavenly ordained soldiers that never give up until the faithfulness and the promises of our God upon the nation manifest. If the Lord's beloved nation of Israel stayed 400 years in Egypt, yet the Lord still loved and remembered them, our day is coming too. No giving up. The Lord is God. He is no man that he shall lie that the season for Zimbabwe is now. In this season, he speaks through unknown voices and unknown men and women to declare Zimbabwe's liberty. Come, freedom, come. Come, liberty, come. Woo to the enemies of peace and progress. Cursed are those that hate the truth of the Lord. Rise, Zimbabwe, rise. 
Fight, citizens, fight. Shout, citizens, shout. For your cries are heard right before the throne of mercy and grace. Continue standing up for the Lord hears every prayer and every supplication that we are putting across upon the table of his grace. God bless you, citizens. Till we meet again, God bless your families. God bless your business. God bless your plans. And may your dreams come true until Zimbabwe is delivered. We pray. Shalom and shalom.